Now at noon, a strike at the Chevron refinery in Richmond. Chopper 5 showing protesters outside the entrance there. And hundreds of workers have been striking for the last 12 hours. KPIX 5's Justin Andrews is in Richmond where workers say they won't stop until there's a fair deal. These union workers told me they are disappointed that an agreement could not be reached. They've been out here for well over 12 hours. The union says Chevron bust their workers from the plant yesterday and replaced them with non-union staff. Monday morning before sunlight, union workers were already on strike holding signs wanting better labor practices. They're definitely not moving their feet. Uh, we're just looking uh, for a little respect. We're looking for a fair and equitable contract, something that's palatable for our people. A recent contract proposal was overwhelming voted down by members of United Steelworkers Local 5. The current labor contract expired February 1st, and all agreements since then have failed. Experts say the refinery supplies around 13% of California's entire production capacity. The refinery produces gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. There's no one real fix. I think what it is is uh, the same with us as most blue collar workers around the nation. We're just tired. We're tired of seeing corporations take advantage of the profits that are made off our bag. Chevron sent us this statement saying, quote, we believe our contract offer is fair, competitive and responsive to USW concerns. We have negotiated in good faith for months, reaching two tentative agreements that were rejected by the union and were ready to continue discussions, end quote. Chevron also says it's fully prepared to continue normal operations and don't anticipate any issues maintaining a reliable supply of products to the market. Yesterday evening, members of United Steelworkers Local 5 say roughly 100 workers were bussed from the plant and replaced with non-union workers. That worries us greatly. Those are very complicated systems that we've uh, been trained on, years of training, annual training, and now we believe these people are paper qualified and we're concerned for the people of Richmond and for the environment. The union encouraged Chevron to return to the bargaining table. Chevron said it would, so there's still some hope. Definitely hopeful because I care so much and love my members so much, but um, I know who I'm dealing with. And depending on how long this strike lasts, experts say that this could have an impact on your wallet when you go to the gas pump. In Richmond, Justin Andrews, KPIX 5.